Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Koyo manungso asring angla ledo, apa parap pangeraning prang, tan pekso anggoni anya nyandang. Nanging biso nyembadani ruwet rentengi wong sak pirang-pirang. Please watch on for Prophecy of the Golden Age, Part 118, King Jayabaya's Vision of the Queen of Peace and Justice. This program will be presented in Indonesian and Japanese with subtitles in Arabic, Aulaxis also known as Vietnamese, Bulgarian, Chinese, Czech, English, French, German, Hindi, Hungarian, Indonesian, Japanese, Korean, Malay, Mongolian, Persian, Polish, Portuguese, Punjabi, Romanian, Russian, Spanish, Telugu and Thai. Salam pemirsa yang luar biasa. Saya adalah pahlawan pemberani Raden Gatot Kaca. Duk Indonesia yang spiritual berterima kasih atas kebaikan yang Anda lakukan bagi sesama manusia dan para satwa. Semoga Tuhan memberikan Anda berkah berlimpah. Sepanjang sejarah umat manusia, pesan-pesan ilahi seringkali diselimuti misteri. Nabi, Mesias, atau dengan nama mana saja Anda memanggil mereka, sering dianiaya dan ditindas. Ajaran mereka dikaburkan. Tapi, bagaimana kita membedakan yang benar dari yang salah? Untuk melakukan itu, seseorang hanya bisa mengandalkan bimbingan ilahi. dan kebenaran menunjukkan diri pada mereka yang sungguh mencari. Hari ini, mari kita lanjutkan mengungkap lebih banyak mengenai nubuat-nubuat fenomenal dari Prabu atau Raja Jayabaya tentang kedatangan Ratu Adil Sebagaimana ditemukan dalam Serat Jangka Jayabaya, Kitab Peramalan Prabu Jayabaya oleh Pujangga Keraton Terkenal, Pangeran Wijil ke-1. Sak durunge teko ana tetenger lintang kemukus, dawa ngaluk-aluk, 
tumonjo ono kidul sisih wetan bener lawase pitung bengi para esok banter ilange katut bedoro surya jumedul bebarengan karo sing wis mungkur priyatine kawula kelantur-lantur iku tandane putra bedoro indra wus katampa lagi tumeka ing arca padha ambian tuwong jowo Kutipan ramalan ini memberitahu suatu tanda supernatural dari komet yang menandai waktu datangnya Putra Betara Indra yang berarti Putra Tuhan untuk membantu bangsa Jawa yang sedang menderita dalam waktu yang lama. Sebagaimana disebut sebelumnya, kata Jawa berasal dari kata jiwa atau roh sehingga membantu bangsa Jawa di sini bisa berarti membantu banyak jiwa-jiwa di seluruh dunia. Ratu Adil adalah sang juru selamat untuk semua umat manusia, bukan hanya satu negara. Menurut ramalan tersebut, sebuah komet akan datang menuju bagian selatan timur atau tenggara, dan setelah tujuh malam akan hilang saat matahari terbit dan sang juru selamat datang dari surga ke bumi. Juga beliau akan datang ketika penderitaan manusia masih ada. Sungguh menakjubkan menghubungkan bait ini dengan kehidupan Maha Guru Qinghai. Beliau, tubuhnya terlahir di wilayah selatan timur, tenggara dari dunia ini, di Aulak atau Vietnam, pada saat penderitaan manusia yang berlarut-larut pada tahun 1950. Dunia masih terguncang setelah terjadinya perang paling mematikan dalam sejarah. Perang Dunia Kedua dan ketika tahun 1950-an dimulai masih ada peristiwa yang memilukan lainnya seperti Perang Korea dan Perang Vietnam kelaparan di Cina dan lain-lain Mendekati saat-saat tubuh fisik guru terlahir Orang tuanya menyaksikan sebuah tanda supernatural, terangnya cahaya surgawi. The reason my parents so, the light, you know, the whole house was bright in the second night because I only came then. I didn't come when the baby came out. I wasn't in my mother's womb. You understand me? That's why I didn't see the light when I when the body was born because I wasn't there. I came when everything's all clean and ready and settled down already and when the angels already make the road clear and everything and the body is already clean and a little bit away from the mother's energy and then I came down Guru tidak terlahir melalui proses normal kelahiran Beliau pernah mengatakan bahwa rohnya yang maha tinggi telah terhubung dengan tubuh yang baru terlahir dari orang tuanya pada tahun 1950 dan menunjuk satu orang suci level kelima menjaga dan memurnikan tubuh tersebut hingga guru memasukinya ketika gadis itu berumur dua tahun. Kalau begitu, mungkinkah komet tersebut melambangkan orang suci tingkat kelima yang datang terlebih dahulu kemudian pergi setelah guru? Matahari muncul. Dunungane Ono sikile redi lawu sisih wetan, wetane bengawan banyu, ada dukuh pindo gadot koco, arupo gupon doro tundo tigo. Bait berikutnya menggambarkan tempat yang ada hubungannya dengan sang juru selamat, perbukitan gunung lawu. Secara harafiah, Gunung Lawu adalah gunung keramat orang Jawa, di mana banyak orang Jawa pergi bermeditasi dan berusaha mencapai moksa, bermakna pembebasan spiritual atau pencerahan. Mungkin Prabu Jayabaya sedang melihat penerawangan batinnya pada salah satu tempat gunung keramat di mana Sang Juru Selamat bermeditasi. Atau pondok jerami kecil di mana beliau tinggal pada masa kecilnya, 
Di gunung samping sungai, di mana ibunya sering memandikannya waktu kecil, seperti yang guru pernah ceritakan kepada kita beberapa tahun lalu. Cho nên là chiến tranh thì gia đình phải di tản lên núi để ở. Mẹ tôi và chị tôi đi bán những cái rau củ quả trồng ở trong vườn ở trong cái núi đó. Cứ 1 2 giờ sáng á, tức là nửa đêm á thì gánh nhau đi xuống dưới bán thì lúc nào cũng mang theo một cái mỏ bằng tre để gõ cho những cái con vật ở trong núi nó không có nó sợ nó chạy. Ví dụ như con cọp, con beo, con heo gì đó. Về trên cái đoạn đường về tới gần nhà thì mỏ vẫn cứ gõ chốc 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 như thế, gõ hoài. Mà chị tôi thì mới có 2 tuổi. Mà nằm chị mà mới nghe tiếng mỏ đó. Mới nghe mẹ về mừng lắm, mới bò ra. Bò ra mà mới 2 tuổi đã biết đi gì nhiều đâu, mới chập chững thôi. Bò qua một cái cây cầu bằng tre. Một cầu bằng tre, một cây chiếc tre như thế này bằng cỡ tay mình đó. Mà bò qua vì trước nhà tôi có một cái con suối. Con suối nhỏ, sông cái cây con suối. Thì cha tôi ở trong nhà không biết hết, chừng chạy ra tìm thì không thấy con đâu hết. Thì mới giật mình thì mẹ tôi mới la Ô oh, nó đây rồi, nó ra tới đây rồi ông ơi Vì sao là ai nghe cũng nổi da gà Không biết tại sao mà nó bò qua được cái cầu đó Bayi tersebut kemudian mengatakan bahwa Tempat sang guru seperti rumah Raden Gatot Kaca Seperti anda lihat Saya Gatot Kaca Terdapat tanda bintang di dada saya Menyimbolkan cahaya surgawi Dan sayap saya adalah untuk terbang mendekati surga. Jadi, nubuat tersebut bermakna bahwa tempat sang guru adalah di mana cahaya surgawi menyinari semua. Sudah berulang kali, Maha Guru Jinghai menetap di daerah pegunungan berbagai negara. Seringkali di daerah dekat sungai. Dan tentu saja, tempat-tempat seperti itu akan memancarkan cahaya suci yang cemerlang dari kehadirannya. Terutama ketika dia akan melakukan rat-rat meditasi di sana. Tempat-tempat itu juga merupakan lokasi yang guru pilih untuk energi spiritual yang bagus. Itu merupakan tempat-tempat dengan cahaya portal outlet surgawi. Juga kita diberitahu bahwa tempat sang juru selamat adalah seperti rumah susun segitiga burung darah. Tempat tinggal beberapa guru di daerah pergunungan atau tempat terpencil lainnya berbentuk pondok atau rumah kecil dengan atap susun segitiga. Selain itu, guru terkadang tinggal di tenda plastik kecil yang juga mempunyai bentuk segitiga yang mirip.
Pemirsa baik hati, kita akan kembali setelah sebuah pesan singkat. Tetaplah bersama menyaksikan Supreme Master Television. Para pemirsa yang mulia, salam jumpa kembali di acara kita. Mari kita lanjutkan membacakan ramalan-ramalan Prabu Jayabaya tentang Sang Juru Selamat Dunia yang akan datang menurut kitab Serat Jangka Jayabaya. Koyo manungso asring angla ledo apa parap pangeraning perang tanpekso anggone anya nyandang nanging bisa nyembadani ruwet rentengi wong sak pirang-pirang. Bait ini memberitahu kita bahwa Sang Juru Selamat seperti manusia yang sering menarik orang lain. Sepanjang hidupnya, dimanapun beliau berpergian, banyak orang merasakan sesuatu yang istimewa tentang Maha Guru Qinghai. Dari para gurunya di sekolah dasar, sampai orang asing selama perjalanan sucinya di India. Dan tentu saja, setelah beliau menjadi guru spiritual, tak terhitung banyak orang dari segala lapisan masyarakat telah terpikat akan kehadirannya yang bersinar. top class and all the teachers uh, loved me a lot and respected me a lot somehow they feel respected not just love so when jay sao sis wo de lao si a ai lan ni ai lan ni ai lan ni jie shi wo de xiao shui de lao shi ji zhong yi ge jian bian tong xiu hao chong ai ya ta ji zhong yi ge quan xiao dou jiu yang xie xie Tôi vừa dạy lớp nhất, vừa làm hiệu trưởng cho nên không có giờ. Và chính nhờ sư phụ coi lớp cho tôi khi tôi gắn mặt. Sư phụ giỏi cả, giả giỏi cả, liệt văn, lặng toán là đứng nhất lớp. Các người như gì phải cách nhau tới mấy phép mà. có mọi khả năng sư phụ có bây giờ thì ngày đó tôi đã thấy rồi tức là sư phụ giỏi về ngâm thơ giỏi về hát giỏi về đời tất cả đây là coi như mọi môn không có môn gì không giỏi kể cả môn vẽ cũng giỏi luôn và cuối những cái cuối những học một nghìn chín trăm sáu ba à sáu hai sáu ba sư phụ được bầu làm cái sư phụ được hai phần thưởng một phần thưởng đứng nhất của lớp nhất và bằng thưởng đứng nhất toàn trường 
sư phụ rất giỏi tuy sư phụ nhỏ tuổi nhưng mà có việc gì trong lớp thì sư phụ đến bàn của con và nói chuyện như người lớn cho không nói sư phụ Everybody want to come and take me home, <laughs> you know, to worship and to offer. Uh, in India, they they respect monks and nuns so much. They call them saints. Yeah, but I don't know. They are not always kind to other monks and nuns. It's just to me. Um, but I have to always refuse, you know, because I don't like to <laughs> to be worshipped. I just go around and I'm just an ordinary person. Yeah, and sometimes people even bow to me, you know. They prostrate in front of me. I was so scared. Those with long beard and big turban, you know. About seventy years old, it will fit enough to be my grandmaster. <laughs> and I told you already, the Dalai Lama was always very kind to me, huh? Especially every time I saw him, he spotted me on in the crowd. He said, "Ha, ah, hello, come here." <laughs> and then he always gave me some of the precious medicine that he made himself. I saw that I was the only one that he ever gave personally medicine like this. Many people saw my aura also, so sometimes. Even if I uh, went out somewhere and I dressed very, you know, poorly, even some police, you know? Yes, yeah. Master. So uh, sometimes they show a lot of respect because of the aura, okay? Oh, yes. That's why many of your brothers and sisters go gaga over me, because they saw, okay? Yes, Master. Some say, some don't, yeah? Can you ask me, why do I see the Master's face? And if your heavenly eyes open, you can see light around us right now. Anyone see? Oh, thanks a lot. Yes, okay, good. Yes, good. <laughs> First time seeing me? Thank you. First time he saw me and he sees light around this physical being already. Can you imagine how it is like inside? When you even can radiate light outside, so be that person. It's in you. You can do that. I can see the aura. You did? Yeah. It's like it's, it's just automatic. blinding. You're just. I just feel like I can't even look at you. I just feel like I, you're so bright. Yeah. It's just. I'm sorry. I cover myself. <laughs> Baris berikutnya mengatakan bahwa sang juru selamat adalah. Ditakdirkan sebagai Pangeran Kesatria, yang berarti bahwa beliau seorang pemimpin pemberani dan yang berjaya, datang untuk mengakhiri penderitaan para makhluk yang tak bersalah. We have to work now, day and night. We cannot escape. Okay, we have to work. You can see the world is in such a shape, right? Yes. 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 If we don't work, who will? Hmm? We must win. This yes, yes, yes. Yeah, we don't let the Maya win anymore, even that, uh, indirectly through brainwashing the humans or some of their uh, leftover weakling subordinates. Got that? Yes, yes, we have to win. We have to do it. We have to rescue all suffering animals so that we don't cry anymore. Ramalan yang juga mengatakan, walaupun penampakannya sangat sederhana, Ratu Adil mampu mengatasi kerumitan dari banyak orang. Sungguh, Maha Guru Qinghai tampak sebagai seorang manusia biasa, tetapi beliau sejatinya adalah Yang Maha Kuasa, Tim Kuotu, yang terus mengatasi kesulitan yang muncul dari alam manusia, secara kasat mata maupun tidak. 
sebagai suatu pengorbanan yang paling ulas asi demi membersihkan karma-karma buruk. Pada waktu kedatangan master itu, tinggal di rumah saya. Tidak lama kemudian, polisi itu bertubi-tubi datang mengunjungi kita, tanya ini, tanya itu. Nah, dan dipanggil segalanya itu. Keluarga saya itu terisimu istri saya, nah, merasa sangat tertekan, agak gelisah, ada apa ini? Tapi setelah saya selesai dari polisi, saya bilang, saya setelah saya selesai uh, pulang dari polisi, saya kasih tahu sama istri saya, masalah polisi sudah selesai, sudah saya hadapin. Iya, tadi malam, tadi malam saya juga mimpi master turun, turun dari atas, uh, turun ke bawah, dia kasih tahu saya. Kamu jangan khawatir, saya akan selesaikan kenyataannya. Ya memang begitulah. Oh jalan lancar, tidak ada, ada apa? Not just police, the bad people. They come and burn my garden, try to film me out. Uh, some people come and break in the house. Sometimes I go out, I have to hide in the trunk to come here to see you, because there's only one road to go down. No, I'm not joking. There was a guy who drive me before. He knows it. Itu adalah seorang saudara atau murid dari Finlandia bernama Jus yang saat ini masih hidup. And sometimes they even follow us. Uh, one time we going out, and then there was a car opposite. And as soon as they saw, us, immediately he, you turn, you know, zzzz, like that, and follow. I said, let him go, and then turn to the other direction, even though it's not our way. It's like action movies, and sometimes uh, even journalists or whoever, bad or good people, I don't know, go into and uh, pretend to cut to something and just <laughs> camping out on the tree, you know, next to my house and looking around. But it was scary. Sometimes they stay the whole night in front of my house, and then the assistant tell me. I said, hey, why don't you go out and give them a tent and a sleeping bag and tell them <laughs> it is more comfortable this way. <laughs> you know, even though I I was so traumatized, but I still can manage to make the joke. Otherwise, I don't want them to be too scared. You see what I mean? I don't know how I still live. But some people would have a nervous breakdown, you know, if it continue like this. But uh, I guess I'm a tough guy, eh? Look at me. See that? <laughs> Muscle all over. <laughs> so um, even nowadays, we're supposed to have democracy and religious freedom and everything. I don't know. I'm still running like Jesus' time, or oh, Prophet Muhammad's time. Peace be upon him. Yes. Uh, sometimes I couldn't run fast enough, and that is why other th- they caught me. You know, in the house or. In other areas, yeah. Sometimes you can't, you can't just always avoid, even if you know. If if the karma is too heavy, the price has to be paid. I just have to take care of myself. Hmm. It's difficult, but I'm trying my best for you, yeah, for the world. Terima kasih pemirsa berwawasan telah bergabung dengan kami hari ini. Saksikan kembali minggu depan lebih banyak nubuat Prabu Jayabaya yang penuh kebenaran. Berikutnya adalah Param Guru Sri Mahendra Babaji, vegetarian. Meramalkan kembalinya Haida Khan Babaji bagian satu dari dua. Tepat setelah berita patut disimak. Mohon tetap menyaksikan di Supreme Master Television. Semoga Anda mendapatkan kebahagiaan terbesar dari pencerahan spiritual. Thank you, perceptive viewers, for joining us today. Please tune in again next week for more of King Jayabaya's truthful predictions. Coming up is Param Guru Sri Mahendra Babaji, vegetarian, prophesying Haidakan Babaji's return. Part 1 of 2, right after noteworthy news. 
please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. Wishing you the greatest happiness of spiritual enlightenment. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash AP. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com bar oblique schedule et suprememastertv.com bar oblique AP. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule y suprememastertv.com barra inclinada AP. Rancangan kami menawarkan banyak bahasa. Sila kunjungi suprememastertv.com slash kehadapan schedule dan suprememastertv.com slash kehadapan AP.